Where I sit writing, I can see a page, a pen, a line or three of scribbled verse, a cup of tea. A writer writing about where he writes. You need to be away from the house where you live. Otherwise, if the cat's sick or the cooker blows up, you've got to fix it. But if you aren't there, you don't know about it. So I always leave the house and go somewhere. And I've always had a shared. Alan Olberg has written 140 children's books, which all share his gentle, slightly offbeat sense of humour. He grew up in a poor black country family. The staunch West Bromwich Albion supporter still has strong ties with the Oldbury of his childhood. If we were having this interview in, in, in Oldbury now, I feel what would start to happen, like, you know, is without me even knowing it, it would creep up through the soles of my feet and up my legs, and suddenly I'd be talking like this, you know, and it would be... It might sound a bit like mockery, but it ain't. For 20 years, Oldberg worked with his wife, Janet, an artist. It was the most successful writer-illustrator partnership in literary history. It came to an end with her premature death in 1994. A picture book text needs to be like that, with, with spaces. You don't, you, don't, you don't say, at the end of people, you don't say that the father's put his uniform on and he's going off to war. The picture says it. You don't need to say it. So here are the pictures, and together they... And some wonderful writers can't write like that. Once upon a time, there were three bears, seven dwarfs, five gorillas, a frog prince, some sleeping beauties, a wolf. The former Oldbury Grammar School boy draws inspiration from his own experiences. The nursery classic, Peepo, is about himself. It's a pretty version, it's a romanticised version, but it is the, the Oldbury houses, the little wash house and the yard outside and uh, cramped little rooms and sinks and so on. And the baby in the tin bath. And the baby in the tin bath in front of the fire. The Olbergs parented 37 classics together and one real baby, Jessica. When she was born, our friends in, the, uh, in publishing said this is not so much a baby, more a piece of market research. And she has earned her keep, really. Recently, The Boyhood of Burglar Bill hit the bookshelves, set in the black country of 1953. Next month sees the publication of The Pencil. Look out for a particularly mean rubber. And who but you could make something as innocuous as a rubber a baddie? Oh, you've given it away. <laughs> well, yes, the rubber is a baddie. Actually, there is, well, yeah, there's more to it. Yes, the rubber is a baddie, the rubber. I'm not telling the ending. No, no, don't. That's it. No, don't. They've got to buy the book. <laughs> Alan Oldberg, thank you so much for joining us. It's a pleasure. Thank you.